everybody. It's time for January favorites and much to my surprise this month, I didn't have a whole lot that I wanted to include in my January favorites, but I did do a lot of shopping in January. So a lot of the stuff that I'm loving right now, I haven't really had for that long, maybe a couple weeks. So you'll probably see a lot more in next month's favorites video. But once I pulled all the products that I did want to include for this month's favorites, I noticed that I, it had like a common theme and that was hydration, dry skin. And of course, that's what we're all battling right now in some of the coldest months of the year. So um, you'll see in my face and body products, that's the theme for this month's favorites. And then I included um, a hair, a food, and I'll include a TV. So let's get started. For face, I included the Coors Wild Rose and Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. That's a really long title, but I love this for my nighttime skin cream and it is very hydrating, but it also is brightening. When you wake up the next morning, you just have this beautiful radiance to your face. And I haven't been using it quite long enough to see any um, improvement in my dark spots, but it definitely is brightening your skin. It just leaves it so gorgeous. You wake up and you just look so hydrated and healthy and well rested. And so this is a winner in my book. I love it. For the scent, it is straight up rose petals and it's pretty strong. So if you're sensitive, um, you might not enjoy this. I do not enjoy rose fragrances personally, but I was able to get past that and get used to it. And now I actually kind of enjoy it at night. So if you're skeptical about it smelling like roses, like an old lady scent, then just give it a try. And I think once you see what it does to your skin, you'll deal with it like I do. And for my nighttime lip cream or lip balm, I use the Eminence Citrus Lip Balm. And if you've never heard of Eminence, I heard of it through my facialist and they sell it at my spa. And I bought this online. Actually, I didn't buy this online. <laughs> I got this for a Christmas present, but you can buy this online. And Sugar is my favorite lip balm. And this runs a very close second. Actually, they might be tied, but the reason I only use this at night is because it comes in this tub and I don't want to keep this in my purse and get into it with grimy hands in the middle of the day. So I use this at night when my hands are freshly washed and I put on all my night stuff. But this stuff is so amazing. It smells a lot like the sugar. It smells very lemony, citrusy. It has shea butter and it has a little bit of peppermint oil in it. And it doesn't smell like peppermint at all to me, but it just plumps your lips up, makes them feel real cool. Not necessarily necessarily tingly, but it's just great stuff and it will hydrate your lips super well. And I don't have any makeup products for this month because like I said, all of my favorites right now are pretty much brand new products to me. So you'll see some makeup next month. So let's move on to body. I included this Dove Visible Care Cream Body Wash and this is the toning formula. And I love Dove body washes because they have this Nutrium Moisture. It's supposed to be the most moisturizing to your skin that you can get. And normally I use like the regular Sensitive Skin or one of their scented ones, but I saw this new Visible Care and I wanted to try it and it smells incredible. And the thing I love the most about it is that it foams up. Oh, I just got it all over me. It foams up super well. I mean, you can just put a little bit on a sponge and it will lather up insanely well. And I love that about a body wash. So this lasted me a super long time. It's 18 fluid ounces. And I just bought a new body wash. I'm trying something new and I kind of wish now that I hadn't because I love this stuff so much, but it's a little hard to find. I couldn't find it at CVS or Walgreens. I bought this at Walmart. And so far that's the only place I've been able to find it. So I'm about to run out and I was already in CVS, so I'm trying something new. But if you haven't tried this, it's amazing. And for when I get out of the shower, the body lotion I love this month 
is the La Ossetan, or you know, however you say that, you know I can't, uh, Ultra Rich Body Lotion. And this is 15% shea butter. It's really hydrating, and this smells a little bit different. I mean, it doesn't really have a perfume scent to it, which is another thing I love about it because I can put this all over my body and not be afraid to add perfume on top. I don't like to layer scents, and so this stuff has been great. I discovered this on vacation last October. I just bought like a little travel size, and it was great for like sunburned skin. Um, it actually says on the bottle it helps to soothe skin, particularly after sun exposure or waxing. So that's pretty interesting to me. I haven't tried it after waxing, but it definitely is great for after sun exposure, and it's been great for me in the winter time. Now for hair products, I am going to sing the praises of this dry shampoo and just take my word for it that I've used a million bajillion dry shampoos. I've spent everywhere from $2 to $30 for a little bitty bottle. So I kind of feel like I know what I'm talking about on dry shampoos. I like to only wash my hair um, two to three times a week and so I have to have a great dry shampoo. And this one I think is the best I've ever tried. And it is the Salon Graphics Invisible Dry Shampoo. It says it's for all hair colors, no white powder residue, cleans and refreshes. And some key points on dry shampoo, I have to love the scent. It tends to linger all day when you have it right around your hairline, you can smell it. I love this scent, so that's the first thing I do. I even, I sniff it in the store before I buy it because if I don't like it, I'm not buying it. But number one thing I look for is the no white residue. And even though I don't have super dark hair, I don't want it to look gray. I don't want any type of white powder whatsoever. I don't even want it before I brush it out because I want nothing to show. And so this stuff is amazing when it comes to no white powder residue. I've purchased quite a few that have claimed that and it's true if you hold it out really far, but if you ever accidentally get it too close to your hairline, it will create white residue. This stuff, I swear you could hold it like right here and it will have no white residue. So it's perfect for all you dark haired girls and any color, hair color would do great with this stuff because it is completely invisible and it's 100% true to its word when it says invisible, no white residue. So I love it. It also adds pretty good um, volume and a little bit of grip uh, for when I'm doing updos. I like it to have a little grip and not look completely or look and feel completely clean. I mean, I want it to look clean and have no oil, obviously, but it doesn't have to be um, super slick. Like I, I like to have it a little bit of texture and grip for second and third day hair. But if you haven't tried this, you must. I love it so much. You can get it at Walgreens, CVS. I'm not sure about Walmart. Um, I think it's about $8 a can, and I go through it pretty fast. I will admit that, but to me, it's just so worth it. And to me, $8 a can is really not that bad. I spent $30 a can. I know, ridiculous, but they also have it in a little travel size, which is in my travel bag. I should have grabbed it, but travel sizes, they get me every time. I can't help it. But I like that I can travel with this and not take the huge can. Okay, for my TV picks, I am in love with the show White Collar, have been from the very first episode. And last night was the season finale. Oh, it was so good. If you haven't watched it, it's on USA. And the lead character, is super hot. I can love a show and love the storyline, but if I don't like the characters, I don't want to watch it. But the season finale was last night, and so I've been obsessed all of January, and I cannot wait till it comes back on. And I decided to include one food item because I have been eating this nearly every day, if not twice a day. It's pretty bad. It's the Justin's Maple Almond Butter, and 
I love Justin's Almond Butter. I first discovered it um, in the honey flavor and that was incredible. But then when I went to the store and they didn't have the honey in the full size jar. And so I got the maple in the back here. The owner says that it's his favorite flavor and I can definitely see why. It is so incredibly good. I love the texture of it. It's between smooth and crunchy, if that's possible. It's like a little bit gritty, but not crunchy. Um, the maple flavor goes on everything. I have it on graham crackers, toast, apples, you name it, I've eaten it on there. By the spoonful, yeah, I know, pretty bad, but um, Justin's is a really good brand. It's all natural. It has like maybe five ingredients, and it's some really good almond butter. You've got to try it. That's actually going to be it for my January favorites. I hope you enjoyed this. Next month, I'll have you know some more selections for you, but if you're looking for something to hydrate your skin, I've given you a couple of ideas for face and body. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week. Bye.